Determination of the Universal Gravitational Constant Cavendish Method Newton observed that the constituent of the universe is bound together by gravitational forces and put forth the law, universal law of gravitation. The law states that every particle in this universe attracts every other particle with a force that is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. The mathematical representation of this law is F is directly proportional to M1 M2 by D square. F is equal to G M1 M2 by D square, where G is the constant of proportionality called universal gravitational constant. Henry Cavendish, an English physicist and chemist, calculated the value of gravitational constant. He found the value of G using a torsion balance. A torsion balance has a crossbar PQ suspended from the ceiling of a chamber. The crossbar can be rotated about a vertical axis as shown here. Two lead spheres C and D are suspended from the ends of the crossbar using metallic rods. Another light rod RS is suspended by the means of fine torsion wire M made of silver plated copper. There is a torsion head exactly below the center of the crossbar PQ to support the light rod RS. From the ends of RS two smaller spheres A and B are also suspended so that the centers of C, A, B and D are coplanar. There are two telescopes T1 and T2 attached to the chamber for observations. The chamber is closed from all sides. This helps in eliminating the experimental error due to air currents. To start with, PQ is rotated and held at right angles to the line joining centers of C and D and also to RS. Adjust the torsion head so that the wire has no twist. Now rotate PQ till C and D lie on the opposite sides of A and B. The gravitational force of attraction between A and C and between B and D produce a twist in the wire. The couple so produced balances the restoring torque in the wire and this brings the rod to its equilibrium position. Let theta be the angle of twist. The angle of twist theta is recorded with the help of the verniers. The gravitational constant G is calculated using the formula G is equal to C R square by 2 M ML theta.